You're this being too fine. gentle. You're She's being fine. too slow. A bite. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> She's not gonna do anything. She's a sweetie, see? Yeah. 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 a snake that can actually hiss. Hmm. Yeah, you got that little, uh... Yeah. I just and don't believe... How, I don't believe that bull snakes and pine snakes ahead. ever bite. They just tell no, you they're gonna bite. They'll punch you with it's their impossible. mouth open. <laughs> no, that was a food response. I can tell without even knowing. Look at that thing. It's so <laughs> pretty. Smoking. Yeah. They just talk. They, they, it's against their religious beliefs to bite us humans. See? Okay, you're okay. You're okay. They only talk. They never bite. I don't believe it at all. Look at this thing. Look at the, like, post-ocular eye stripes and everything on that guy. Can you guys see it? I'll just put my face really close yeah, so that really it focuses. Yeah. Look at the purple on it. Come here, baby. What is this one? That's just a red hypo? That thing is so beautiful. What do you guys think? That is gorgeous. Yeah, it looks totally different from that one on the other side. I want biggest, meanest, prettiest that you've got. I like, I like most expensive too. Pretty nice. All right, I know. See how nice it is. I told you they don't bite. Maybe they just don't bite you. Come on, get them right in the neck. You must like or something. Or really bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't that. It's like a sweetheart for you. See? Let me tell you, no, Pro I proving you wrong. I the other day <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, bigger and on my face like this. All right, next well, meanest. We can try a couple next of meanest. Ones. Yeah. All right, let's try a bigger one. Yeah. What's up, big guy? Oh, he's so talky. That one doesn't work. He's so talky. What's up, buddy? Come here. Whoa. He just talks and jumps. He eat everything. He talks and jumps. Oh no. Oh no, don't do it. Where are you going? I can't even kiss him. <laughs> He's like, look, I hate you. Hey, you I'm not putting my mouth on you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Show me how to do it. Show me how to do it. I mean, guys. Carol, this is gorgeous. It bites summer now. I know, right? <laughs> You're just a monster. Bring, get out one of those black pines that looks a heck of a lot like a Mexican black king thing. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Hi. What's up, killer? Hey. What are you doing? There you go. <laughs> oh, shot. Okay. Go on, I'm going for it. You gotta close the eyes. Bam! <laughs> Nothing. I can't tell where he is, guy. I don't want to take one to the eyeball. You better get right. I'll give him a better strike, then. Come here. Give him a little bit more. Honestly, that's the most that incredible That was a good thing. show. That's you the are best so thing you talky. can show to somebody you who's You are so talky. And why is that? I'll talk. Because, you know, well, one thing is showing somebody what a, a defensive-looking snake looks like helps people realize that most snakes are not even close to defensive. Yeah. And then even when they are... Yeah. They're just trying to scare you away. Because the thing is, like, even a king cobra or rattlesnake, like, it loses every fight with a person. Yeah. You know, best case scenario is you die sometime later, but it died during the fight. <laughs> and and so they don't want to fight you ever, ever, ever. And, like, look at how much. I mean, that was all bull. They might be super loud, but it's all a bunch of bull. Yep. And, you know, and so some some oh, will bite you. Snake. But they are, they're doing everything they can She's to like avoid it. Oh it's gosh. so cool. It's so cool. A bunch no, of I love it. That's a good, I mean, that's a pretty good defense, though. You walk up on that snake, and it's rattling its tail, yep. and it's doing that. Yeah, you don't know that I'm you can push your face tries into to kiss them. Yeah. yeah. So, Summer, you've been doing this now for about five years. Yep. Which is the perfect time because that's, I mean, you're, you're obviously gone through a few seasons. You've worked some things out. You know, you've bought some snakes. You've raised them. You know, you need one and two generations sometimes mm -hmm. to really get the ball going. Really, yeah. And a lot of that... For what you're doing with the Pituofa stuff, that five year mark, you've got to have like babies now that you produced that are coming online yep. and falling through. So, how's that journey been for you? I mean, it's been great. I think I owe a lot to my parents, honestly, because I've been working in this room since I was old enough to come in here and do anything in here. So, I've been along for their whole journey. So, I learned a lot just about snakes. You're actually developing like new morphs, first time stuff. 
I have gotten lucky somehow. I've just hit the jackpot the past two years. That's insane. Yeah. Can you imagine? So, so you like? All right, tell us the story about the albinos. What happened with these albinos? Yeah, sure. Um, so there's a bunch of locality animals that I work with, and one of them is a snoring gopher snake. They are Christmas Mountain localities. They're from Texas, and uh, I got this pair. Um, I raised them up from babies, so they're 2016s or 2017s. I can't remember. Um, Captive bred animals. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. So I just I bought a pair from a guy. I never even saw what they looked like. He just picked me out a nice pair and he sent me them and I was like, okay, great. And then, uh, so three years later, um, so last year, 2019, I had my first clutch um, and they started hatching. I sliced them open and there was an albino in that clutch and I was like, what is this? I Can you imagine know. cutting eggs off of just what you thought was a normal thing and an albino peeking out? Yeah, what was no, that like? It was, honestly, I think the video's up on YouTube still similar. I, I freaked out. I was like, there's no way this is happening to me. I was like, what is this? And I got two out of that clutch of nine. Um, and it's the first time that locality had ever produced albinos ever. for anybody in the world. Exactly. That's nuts. I, I was just blown away. I was like, is this even That's happening? Like, I've, like, I've literally life. had that dream at least 20 times in my life, but it's not happened to me yet. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. If it ever happens to you, I think you'll understand. But, oh, my uh, gosh. It, yeah. was, it was amazing. I was so excited. And and um, so I kept those, obviously. And, and I had that clutch produced again this year and then I got five more albinos this year so I was finally able to make some available That's and it's just so exciting so, that is so cool yeah that amazing. Is so, cool. so you tried the lizards because you liked them yeah. didn't really work out for you you got into pituophis is there any specific reason why that type of snake um you know growing up as a kid we lived out in the desert in California and there's you'd find gopher snakes all the time and it would was always the funnest thing we'd go camping or anything and that's what we'd go looking for so sentimental reason oh totally. i had a similar experience i was just saying like those are the coolest snakes that you can get without them being venomous oh, yeah like yeah. catching outside in your yard or whatever right totally yeah so to work with that stuff is i mean they're super t i actually do the super doors because they remind me of pituophis well, size attitude best. you know a lot of that kind of stuff they're just play hard, work hard kind of snakes. Oh, they've got personality and yeah, I love that about them. So this is where I mostly have all of my stuff right now. So like the bottom half of this rack is all mine and then this whole rack is mine. Um, I see some northerns up there. Is that what those are? The yeah, black and yeah. These are those uh, northern pines. They're just incredible. Yeah, look at that thing. It's like a zebra. Look at those eyes. Now, do they have any morphs of these, or is it just strictly locality uh, stuff now? Yeah, there's albinos, actually, which I'm getting a pair of those in. Really? They're only found in the Burlington locality, as pure locality. Um, these ones are Ocean County locality, so I won't be crossing those two very much. But, I don't uh, know anything about what you're saying, but it just makes me <laughs> No, that's okay. They're, the, they're from New Jersey. This micro-specific stuff, locality so. stuff. It's just, yeah. I freaking love it. But, um, no, I just love these guys, and they've done so well for me, and I love how big they get, and they're just... Like if you call an animal majestic, I would call this animal majestic just Heck because yeah. size, presence, it, so. yeah, attitude, absolutely. like five to seven foot range. Perfect. Yeah. 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 How um, have you started to kind of get your presence and, and become known? What steps did you take for that? I mean, you're obviously not just putting them up on your parents' website. Right. Yeah. No. Um, well, since this was my first year, really kind of actually getting my feet under me, producing more than just a few here and there. I started my own website and I've been working on that all myself. I put up a whole project page where people can actually go and head and like add themselves to my wait list. So I've done a wait list deal where yes. um, it, it's great because it's basically like you have snakes pre-sold before you even have them on the ground, which is awesome. And so I've pretty much been doing that. Everything, all of my advertising is just purely social media right now. We've got a Facebook page, Instagram page, and that's just about it. Where is your? What's your favorite? Where are you most active? Uh, definitely Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have Instagram, and I've been working on it slowly. But Facebook is where all of like the specific groups are, like the picture of his groups, and so I get a lot of my um, interactive people from there. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I I find the same thing. Like Instagram is awesome because. You know, if, if you're browsing online snake stuff, you know, it, it, all the eye candy is right there. Mm -hmm. But there's no discussions. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So if you can get in with the groups, you can now connect with other people and you're putting pictures up in group mm -hmm. format and everyone can share your experiences and have fun with that. Facebook is where it's at right now. So. Okay. 
do you have any advice for anybody because I think you know that five year mark is perfect you can you can see really you're just you're testing all your ideas yeah right and you're about to you know so you you get little ideas but you're you're putting systems in place like you said your sales method and stuff mm -hmm. which is awesome it's so so much like mine but it took me 20 years and she just was like oh I'll do, do this from the beginning show me how she's <laughs> even you know using her uh, software more efficiently and everything than mine so Jessica, we have some work to do, but uh, do you have any advice for anybody else that might be just starting a, because a, this is your group, you got two racks yeah. for adults, and then yeah. are these all your babies? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Okay, how many babies are yours? Um, I think I have about 100. Okay. They're mine. So that's like one of these racks? Uh, well, two? rack is 80, so. Okay, less yeah, one and a half of the rack? Yeah, yeah, about All right, that. all right, so that's a, I mean, that's a, pretty good start you're gonna have to get some more though when you get these 50 clutches all of a sudden. yeah don't tell my parents that's gonna be a lot of work <laughs> it definitely will be these tubs <laughs> I don't even remind me <laughs> oh. the smallest tubs are the worst too because you gotta clean them like, they all are the time. for sure yeah, these guys are like super doors they make a mess so if you could go back five years and talk to yourself and say okay you're doing pitch of this is what you're gonna do make sure you do this from the beginning what would you do bragging about myself I think I did great but <laughs> well, no, cool. so I what, mean, what I started super do? simple, super small. I only started with like, well, I bought what was supposed to be a pair. It turned out to be two females, and that's what I started with. It's just two females, and I happened to be able to use one of my parents' males, which was great. And then that's what I started with my very first year, and then I just kind of got a couple more. The nice thing was is, so I was working here, so I was already saving money. I didn't. I mean, everything that I've bought or anything has just been cash flowed. Um, so so do same thing, cash flow basis. Yeah, exactly. Steal that your know, mom and dad's, uh, you know, ideas for how to grow the business. I mean, they are my parents. They raised me, so. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> great. No, I mean, I did the same thing. I think it's the best way to do it because, you know, if you want any skin in the game, you have to do it the right way. And so I wanted to be um, successful, and I thought that was the best way to do it. What's your like biggest? idea or plan or something that you're really working for in the next year or two? I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Link in the description. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh.